Hey, how, why, 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 when I start recording, you just act uninterested? <laughs> I'm on the phone. I, I, I start recording, you just go straight <laughs> to the phone. Uh, this is what I do. This is what you do? Yeah. All right. We're going to do the before and after. All right. My chair's not spinning at all. Why are you talking mad, dog, man? It ain't the 90s no more. Is it uh, sound? I'm going to do a voiceover. I'm like, man... I'm going to show you. Or is it quiet and you do a voiceover like, oh, you see here, this is where I made this cut. I'm going to go right there. You're going to see. Right there. Right. What's going on, YouTube? We're back again with another cut. This time a two- Wave cut, two with the grain, skin taper, comes out super smooth. Can't wait for you guys to check this out. So let's jump right into it. And uh, we got a word from my sponsor right here. In a few seconds, you'll see him. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video and give it a thumbs up. Peace. Enough with the shameless promotion. Let's jump right into it, guys. All right, we're going to zero out the back with the TI liner. We're going to take our half all the way open blade on our cordless masters. We're going to create our first guideline and we're going to start balding it out from the bottom. 3 0. Take out that line. Then we're going to move up slowly, opening the lever all the way up to that half guideline or the one guideline whatever you like to call it now we're going to take our one guard all the way open now we're going to take our two guard all the way open and we are just going to loosen up the bulk in the back of the skin the skin taper and whatever the hair is on top you're going to want it to be slightly under what it is you just want to loosen up everything so that it's not heavy if that makes any sense. At this point, we're just gonna work our way down. We have our original line balled out, and now we're gonna take the one guard and we're gonna just take out, smooth out the bottom line right there. So we have the one closed and we're just taking out that line. Now we have the half guard on there and we're following the growth of the hair and we are just watching the haircut, seeing what needs to be done. His hair is real soft, so I constantly have to brush the hair or comb it actually, but uh, that's a good way to see how the hair is growing so you don't make it too light in some areas, too dark. Just constantly comb the, the hair um, is always a plus. We're taking special time on areas that are a little bit darker than others, making sure that the taper is fluid all the way down. And everyone's skull is a little bit different, so if you have a little bit of a, 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 a bulbous area or whatnot, you're gonna wanna concentrate on that area until it looks good to your liking. Now we're gonna take the Babless Gold FX, and we're just gonna line up around the ear and I'm going to wrap the tape around the side of the head just so that it's nice and smooth. The transition is good instead of having really heavy sides. I like to wrap my tapers a little bit. Um, to me, it's just a good transition, even with the waves or whatnot. We're going to start our taper by creating a cup area because it's going to be a lower taper. And we want that detail. We're not using any enhancements on this cut. So we want to get, leave a little bit of hair there so that we can uh, have something to razor up and, and line up with the edges. Now we have our one and a half guard and we're creating our second guideline. We're going to close the lever and we're going to take out that one and a half line with the one guard all the way closed. From here on, we're just going to pretty much loosen up the rest of the hair. So we got a two guard on here. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna constantly uh, comb the hair in the direction that the hair is growing. 
and we're just gonna lighten up the, the top part of the hair so that it blends into the taper. Right here is just a little bit of detail work. We're just making sure the bald area is really bald and smooth so that it lasts a little longer. And here's a tricky area. So you're going into the, the cup area. So you want it, you don't want it to be overly dark and you want it to be dark so that you can line it up and there's still definition. So always use a bigger guard if you're worried, but we're using a two guard here and it's coming out nice. Now we're going to use some detail with the Babyliss Gold FX. And we're just going to follow that, that cut pattern. And we're going back over up there with a two. And this is to lighten it up like I was saying. Now we're on this side. We're just edging up around the ear. And we're going to start the same process on this side. We're starting to taper in the cup little area so that we have more area to... To, to edge and, and straight razor afterwards. Same steps apply on this side. We're just gonna take the one and a half guard, create our second guideline. Detail work, balding out the bottom. Now we're back with the two guard and we're just loosening up the top of the hair so that it blends into the taper. Even when you have a taper, you still have to do some degree of fading. You can't just do the taper area and then leave the rest of the haircut completely long. Um, you, you're gonna have to fade a little bit just to make it look optimal. Here we are back with the Babyliss Gold FX. Still the best trimmers on the market. I made a video on them. You could go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. And right here we're just going with the natural line of his, his hair. And then now we're just gonna go back do some detail work and make it real nice and crispy. When you have the client facing you, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure the sides of his head are even as possible. And now we're just going to line him up. That's when you look at a, a client head on, that's the way they're going to look at their haircut. So it's, all, it's important. The last steps of your haircut is to look at the client head on because that's what they're going to see. If there's hair sticking out the side from the front on, that's what they're gonna see so um, right here we're just following his natural hairline and uh, I sprayed some hairspray earlier to, to keep his hair in place and yeah his hairline is a pretty straight shot now we're just gonna razor him up I love how my clients talk to me while I'm cutting their hair with the razor. They jumping around, moving, like everyone has super confidence in me. I don't even notice it until I'm watching the videos, but I'll be lining up somebody's beard and they're talking. And here's a finished product, guys. I think this came out amazing. Um, I mean, that's about as fresh as you can get. You let me know in the comment section below. Please comment and, and like the video so I can get some more uh, exposure through, through YouTube. Um, you know, the videos take a long time. Just appreciate the like and the subscribe. I only got 1.5% subscribed who watches the video. So go ahead and subscribe to your boy, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving yesterday and 2021. Here we come. I'll see you on the next one.